Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It is another month. It is now April 2021. Thank goodness. And we have another unboxing. Of course, it's from uh, the first one I got for the month, and it's from Monster Bass. Of course, if you don't know about Monster Bass, they have certain regions for all around the country. And you pick the region that you want and then pick which box you want. This is for the southern region and this is their most expensive box which is $35.99 I think it is. Now one of the good things about Monster Bass now is they don't send it in a box which I really appreciate. They send it in a bag and then in this bag will be the or a reusable bag that is a zipper that's uh, pretty it's pretty good actually to be honest it's something i i really enjoy now if you're like i said if you're new to the subscription tackle box this comes monthly and uh i'll read the, exactly off the website it says only the best brands make it into the monster bass box my computer's over there so i was reading that and those those uh include strike king z-man um live target booyah v &M, Duo, Yum, War Eagle, Bagley, and Daiichi Hooks are just some of the name brands that they put in. Now in the past, uh, the past, there's been some up and downs on the Monster Bass thing. I've took, to be honest, I took a lot of grief last month. I don't know why. Um, this is just my opinion on what is in here. And, and I really, um, I think this is a great, if you let me step back here if you get this as a gift i think this is a great gift um if you really are a serious hardcore angler i think you're better off just going to your mom and pop store or bass pro or academy and taking 35 dollars or 36 dollars and buying this because uh, and, and getting this box because what you what you'll find out is you don't get to pick your colors and um in most cases, Monster Bass doesn't usually have half packs of stuff. They usually give you full packs. I will say last month they didn't do that, which was the first, and they try not to put overstock stuff in here too. Um, I think of all of the tackle boxes, I think this is excluding Florida Tackle Club, which I think is the best. I think right now Monster Bass and Bass, Bunch, Bass Baits Monthly are pretty much even keel. I might give the little heads up to Bass Baits Monthly, definitely last month, but we'll see what's in this month, and this is the April 2021 Monster Bass Southern Region. So let's open it up and check it out. I I broke it already. So they start us, oh wow, throw that away. This is what the bag looks like. You get all your baits in this bag and, and this is it. Now I should say, the bag doesn't feel like it's the same quality that it was last month, but maybe I'm wrong. It feels a lot thinner. Oh well, still something cool, and you want to know it? You can, you really can use these things. I, I'll be honest. I keep, I, I, I've used this bag more than I've used the baits inside of Monster Bass in the last two months. I keep one that goes with me that has my normal little gear just so I can go take this and not have a whole bunch of tackle and then I have another one that is just for the closer looks for uh, top water stuff and stuff like that so anyway well they always send you with a what's in the box right here you can see that it's in it the prices all that good stuff start us off with some Mustat KVD triple grip probably one of the best uh, hooks on the market I mean I'm a Daiichi person but this triple grip is studly so not bad next they sent us a Lunker Candy Spin Master 3 8 ounce you're going to go to LunkerCandy.com for more information uh, I am not a huge Lunker Candy fan. I don't think this is a named product, but I mean, it is a spinner bait and it has a Colorado will blade and it looks like a pretty decent spinner bait. So, not bad. Not bad. They always send stickers that I don't use. Next, from Deep 
Creek Lures. They sent uh, a Carolina Shad, unscented, and there's six in that container from uh, Dunn, North Carolina, it looks like. Made in the USA. I have zero clue on this one. Might be a great bait, but that isn't a name brand product to me. Okay, next. Uh, from X Zone, some Adrenaline Crawl, which is four and a quarter, and these are in purple shadow. It looks like there's six per pack. You can see those right there. Floating Crawls, it looks like, too. So, okay. Uh, I have heard of that. Not bad. From, oh, our buddies at Thunderhawk Lures. Man, this got beat up. The Hybrid Diver. It's a little, uh, I think there's there's three of them. There's two in there automatically that are pre-rigged and one extra tail. This is in the June Bug, which is purple. So our boy, um, oh my gosh, Mark Tomlinson will be loving this. Mark, you'll get this. I'll send this to you. Actually, these ones are purple too, the X zones. This must be a purple month. From Live Target, they sent a field mouse. Okay. Now, we're going to keep it real. This was the best new soft plastic bait in for iCast in what year does that say? I can't even read the year because I'm getting old. But I can tell you, I think the first year or second year I ever went to iCast, I saw this. So that would probably put this right around 2011, 2010, 2011. So this is a, a 11 or 12 year old bait. I think this might be overstock. I would bet it is. Uh, next, they sent uh, a Bait Lab tournament winning action. This is the their Surface Slammer. I don't know if you can see it there. I guess it's a, a top water little bait. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, kind of see it a little bit better there. Maybe if I did it that way, that might look better. Um, now, great, to be honest, Bait Labs makes a great bait. I never heard of this one, but not a bad size. And, and it looks like a pretty good paint color, too. And then last but not least, they sent us a catch. Catch Outdoors Jack Slab, and that thing got beat up too. Holy cow, look at that. I think uh, FedEx must have just stepped on my box. This is a constructed uh, tungsten jack slab. It is a multi-species fish catching machine with three line type positions, realistic 3D eyes, scale detail, and stuff. It is a half ounce, it is gold plated, and I... I would imagine this is more for panfish, but maybe I'm wrong. I've never used this. Uh, I don't know anything about Catch Outdoors uh, or their Jack Slab Blade, but that is a really small bait with really, really small treble hooks. So I would, I, I would tend to imagine this is probably some sort of um, great for for specks or big bluegill or, of course, a bass will will attempt to eat that. But those hooks won't make it into, uh, those hooks won't last on, a, on a, a bass. So probably would have to change that one out. So we got the Jack Slab, I believe the Overstock Mouse, the Thunderhawk Lures, which I wish they weren't in here, the, o, the X Zones, the Deep Crank Lures, and the Bait Lab, and then the Lunker Candy. So probably, well, I mean, what I want to know is what you think. Um... I don't think this is a lot of name products. Uh, I think the spinner bait is probably pretty decent. The hooks are great. The mouse, I'm not ever going to use. Uh, not that he can't be used down here, but I think that's it's 11 or 12 years old at least. I mean, I could be wrong on that one. The X zones are great little a great bait. There are probably more than six in this pack to be honest. Oh no, there's six exactly for sure. So those are pretty decent. The jack slab I'm never going to use. 
so overall probably not my not my favorite bag and to be honest you want to know what hold on stay right there the the bag did change so sorry this is my bag that I bring with me for now I bring with me for closer looks I take the lures that I need to that I need to do overhead shots or drone shots off and I put them in here so that I know exactly what I am. here's you're gonna see them ahead of time here's a bunch of it but this bag that I got this month is definitely different than this bag actually you can see right off the bat there's a bigger a zip bigger zipper a different material on the sides and this is a lot heavier than this one and even look at the colors look at the different the oranges aren't even the same one is bigger than the other so they must have changed out and uh but this this bag while it still will get used is a lot flimsier it's a lot less i mean this is probably the same quality as your your ziploc bags probably and i use a lot of those Anyway, I want to know what you guys think of this of this box. Uh, what are your thoughts? Is this one of their best? Is it one of their worst? You tell me this time. Because honestly, I tell you what I think a lot of times, and I catch grief for it. And I'm just trying to be as honest and open with you about what my thoughts are on this. And really, the goal of me having these is to enlighten you and educate you so you can make an educated decision on if you want to purchase one of these so would you purchase this that's the question comment below and tell me what you think guys i hope you're having a blessed day remember take a kid fishing get your fish on you should know there's a new monitor right here we will see you soon cheers guys Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click up here. If you want to see our last video, it should be right here. Take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Cheers.